Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, and today I'm gonna be doing a Sylvan deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck is a super fun deck to play that's based around excavating your plant monsters off your deck to get some absolutely crazy effects. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of Notification Squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards, like getting your name in every single video, getting a signed cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing two copies of Sylvan Hermitry. Hermitry is a really awesome boss monster of the deck that has a super good effect that once per turn, you can excavate the top card of your deck. And if it's a plant monster, send it to the graveyard. And if you do, draw a card. Otherwise, place it on the bottom of the deck. And if this card is excavated from the deck and is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can look at the top three cards of your deck and then place them on the top of the deck in any order, which is a great effect for this card to have to know the exact card you're going to excavate off your different Sylvan monsters. This card is a definite two of in the build and it's just a great card to get on your side of the field. We then play two copies of Sage Akoya. Sage Akoya is really good because it actually special summons itself to your side of the field. It has the ability that when a Sylvan monster is sent to the graveyard, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. And then the rest of your Sylvan monsters actually share a common effect then once per turn you can excavate the top card of your deck and if it's a plant monster you send it to the graveyard otherwise place it on the bottom of the deck and then this card's unique ability is if this card is excavated from the deck and is sent to the graveyard by a card effect then you can target one sylvan spell or trap card in your graveyard and add it back to your hand which is always going to be your copy of sylvan charity which is an awesome draw card for this deck we then play two copies of Flower Knight. Flower Knight is a really awesome two of in the deck. It has the ability, if this card is excavated from the deck and is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, then you can choose a Sylvan card and place it on top of your deck, which is a really awesome effect for this card to have to know the exact card you're going to excavate off your next Sylvan card. We then play two copies of my favorite Sylvan card, and that's going to be two copies of Marsh Leaf. I really love Marsh Leaf in this particular deck because this card actually lets you excavate either one or two two cards not just one which is really cool that you get to pick but it also has the ability if this card is excavated by a card effect and sent to the graveyard you get to target a monster on the field and destroy that target which is a great effect for this card to be as a two of in the deck to be able to pop monsters on the field we then play two copies of cherub sprout cherub sprout is a really unique card in this deck because it has the ability that when this card is special summon you can choose either one or two and then excavate that many cards on the top of your deck and send them excavated plant monsters to the graveyard and place the others on the bottom of the deck in any order and if this card is excavated from the deck and is sent to the graveyard by a card effect you can special summon one plant type monster that's a level one monster from your deck which is a super good effect to instantly get your copy of evil thorn on your side of the field to really get you two more copies of evil thorn on the field which is just really awesome we then play two copies of Princess Sprout. Princess Sprout is really awesome in this deck, and I really love this card as a two of because it has a really unique level manipulation effect that if this card is excavated from the deck and is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can declare a level between one and eight and special summon this card from the graveyard. And if you do, this card's level becomes that level, which makes it super easy to make XZ plays in this particular build. We then play three copies of Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper is really awesome to excavate because it has like a monster reborn effect that if this card is excavated from the deck and is sent to the graveyard by a card effect then you get to target a level four lower plant type monster in your graveyard and special summon that target which is a great effect to be able to bring back any of our monsters from the graveyard that are level four or lower so that's it for the sylvan monsters let's get into the generic plant support so for the generic plant monsters that we're playing in the deck, we're going to be playing three copies of Rika Princess. This card is a really awesome three on the deck. It's actually an extender and a negate because it has the ability that during your main phase, you can special summon this card from your hand. But while it's face up in the monster zone, you cannot special summon monsters except plant monsters. And it has a really awesome graveyard effect that while your opponent activates a monster effect, while this card, or while you control a Rika monster, quick effect, you can shuffle this card from your hand or graveyard into the deck and then tribute one plant monster to negate that effect. 
which is a great effect for this card to have to be a negate and an extender that can special summon itself to the field. We then play a single copy of Snowdrop. Snowdrop is really good to help you make XZ plays while also getting you two monsters on the field because you can tribute a plant monster to special summon both this card and one other plant monster from your hand to your side of the field, but you can't special summon monsters the rest of the turn except plant monsters. And you can also target a plant monster that you control and all plant monsters that you currently control become the level of that monster until the end phase which makes it super easy to make rank 8 plays in this deck. We're then playing three copies of one of the best plant monsters ever created, and that's going to be three copies of Lone Fire Blossom. Lone Fire Blossom is a great three of because once per turn, you can tribute one face up plant monster to special summon a plant monster from your deck, which means you can special summon any monster that you want basically from the deck because all we're playing in the main deck is plant monsters. So this card is a really awesome three of. We then play three copies of Evil Thorn. Evil Thorn is a really good three of the deck, but you can tribute this card and inflict 300 points of damage to your opponent, and if you do, you can special summon out two more copies of Evil Thorn, which is a super good effect for this card to have to instantly get you two monsters on the field, so you can either XZ summon or Link summon, which this card is really good at helping you getting resources on the field. We then play three copies of Fangly. Fangly is a really awesome three of the deck, and just basically made for Sylvans. I really love this card in the deck. Because if this card is sent from the deck to the graveyard by a monster effect, you can special summon this card. Then, if you control another plant type monster, you can half the attack and defense of one monster on the field, which is super good for this card to be able to do. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn, but also once per turn, if this card is on the field, would be destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can send a plant monster from your deck to the graveyard instead, which gets you the exact plant monster you you need in the graveyard when you need it by just protecting this card which is super cool we then play a single copy of rose girl rose girl is just a really good extender for the deck so i play this card as a one of in the build play a single copy of spore for the exact same reason this card is really good and can also level manipulate itself which is really nice for this card to be able to do we then play a single copy of rose lover rose lover is really good in the deck because you manage this card from the graveyard to special summon a plant monster from your hand which is great to combo with your copy of your Hermitry because sometimes you will have Hermitry in the hand and you don't want to tribute summon that card out to the field so you're going to special summon it out with your copy of Rose Lover by banishing this card from the graveyard. We then play a single copy of World Carrot Weight Champion. This card is also a great extender from the deck because it has the ability, if this card is in the graveyard, you can send a plant monster from your hand or face up from your field to the graveyard, accept another copy of this card, and special summon this card, which is a great effect to instantly get another plant monster on the field. We then play a single copy of Cucumber Horse. Cucumber Horse is a really interesting card, and I really like this card for battle phase protection, which is really nice about this card. But it has a super unique effect that if this card is in the monster zone, is sent to the graveyard except during the battle phase. So if it's your main phase one or two, this card just instantly gets sent to the graveyard. So this card is a really awesome graveyard effect. At the start of the battle phase, if this card's in the graveyard, you can send a plant monster from your hand or face of reveal to the graveyard to special summon this card and then special summon one monster from either player's graveyard to your field, but send these cards, special summon monsters, to the graveyard at the end of the battle phase, which is a great effect to give you two monsters on the field to protect your life points. I really like this card because it also doesn't banish itself. So basically every single battle phase, you can bring it out to the field, which is really neat. We then play a single copy of Mardell. Mardell is just a really good searcher to summon off your copy of Lone Fire Blossom. And as you believe, if this card is normal or special, I mean, you can add a plant monster from your deck to your hand, which is a great effect. So that's it for the plant monsters. Let's get into the spells. So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn is just a great extender in the deck to be able to get a monster back on the field. We can play a single copy of Reasoning. Reasoning is a fantastic in the deck. You're playing so many different levels. It's going to be really hard for your opponent to pinpoint the exact level that you're going to excavate with your copy of Reasoning. So basically, it's a free special summon off the top of the deck.
We then play a single copy of Pot of Avarice. Pot of Avarice is a really good one of in the deck because it lets you target five monsters in the graveyard and shovel those cards into the deck and then draw two cards, which is a great effect for this card to have because we have so many monsters in the deck and this card helps us recycle resources while also letting us draw. We then play three copies of Sylvan Charity. Sylvan Charity is a great three of in the deck and I really love this card because it's kind of like graceful charity for this deck. It lets you draw three cards and then if you have a sylvan card in your hand reveal two cards from your hand including at least one sylvan card then place them on the top of the deck in any order otherwise reveal your entire hand and place your entire hand on top of the deck in any order but you're only ever activating this card when you have a sylvan card in the hand so you're always going to get that draw three which is really good i really love this card actually lets you put two cards back on top of the deck so you know exactly what you're going to excavate off your different sylvan cards so that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing two copies of Dance Peony. Dance Peony is a really awesome card, and I really love this card for the deck. It has the ability, if this card is Link Summon, you can choose a number from one to three and excavate that many cards from the top of your deck. And if you do, you get to special summon up to two excavated plant monsters, but they cannot be used as link material. Also, send the remaining cards to the graveyard, which is not that big of a deal because we're playing 34 plant monsters in the main deck. We're always going to hit a plant monster off this card, or we've done something completely wrong with the deck. But it also has the ability that you can target one plant monster in your graveyard that has a level, and the level of the monsters this card points to becomes the level of that monster in the graveyard until the end of the turn, which is a great effect to be able to help us XZ summon. We then play a single copy of Resurgent. Resurgent is just a great card to be able to summon to our side of the field, just in case we do lock ourselves into plants. We then play a single copy of Access Code Talker because it's a fantastic boss monster, and it usually comes out with about 5,300 on our side of the field and can pop multiple cards on the field because we have a bunch of different attributes for link monsters in the deck. We then play a single copy of Unicorn to spin stuff, Phoenix to pop spells and traps, and a single copy of Jasmine. Jasmine is great in the deck because it has an awesome effect that you can trade a monster this card points to to special summon a plant monster from the deck and defense position, which is a really good effect for this card to have to be able to instantly get you your copy of Mardell onto the field to give you a search. We then play a single copy of IP Mascarena. IP Mascarena is really good to be able to go into Unicorn during the opponent's turn to give you a spin, which is really good. And then we play a single copy of Link Rebo because we do play a lot of level ones in the deck to give us a little bit more battle phase protection on top of the copy of Cucumber Horse. We then play a single copy of Borload Savage Dragon because we do Synchro Summon in the deck and we play a lot of Link Monsters. So this card is really good as a one of in the build. We then play a single copy of Empress of Bloom. Empress of Blooms is really good because it gains 4 in attack for each plant monster that you control, except this card. But it's also a walking monster reborn because during your main phase, you can special summon one level 5 or higher plant monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position, which is a great effect for this card to have to get you a monster reborn every single turn because it is a once per turn. We then play a single copy of Alceus. Alceus is just really good in this deck as a one of. We then play a single copy of Teardrop. I find myself going into the copy of Teardrop drop more than Alceus in this particular build because it has the ability to actually a spot removal because you can detach a material from this card and then target a monster on the field and tribute it and it's a quick effect if this card is a plant monster as a material which you always will with this card so I really like the copy of teardrop in this build we then play a single copy of Oria Oria is just a fantastic card overall in this particular build and is a great boss monster to be able to summon the field and then finally we play a single copy of Sylvan Princess Sprite this card is a really good one of the deck that lets you detach a material from this card, excavate the top card of your deck, and if it's a spell or trap card, add it to your hand, otherwise send it to the graveyard, which will make your copies of your sylvan cards go off. But it also has the ability you get to send one other plant type monster from your hand or face your field to the graveyard, and then target a sylvan monster in the graveyard and special summon it, which is really good when you send your copy of Hermitry to the graveyard to be able to bring it back with this card. So, that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Sylvan before, you definitely should give this deck a try. This is a really fun deck to be able to play. Just being able to excavate all your different plant monsters and play so much generic plant support in this deck is just super fun. So anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come for our notification squad, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.